Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Deliver Us The Moon. We have just done a nice drive out on the uh, lunar surface and we are trying to find our way into Tombaugh Station to fix the NTP network. I reckon it's going to have something to be with up there, but my current objective is to uh, return to the control center. So, let's return to the control center and hope for the best. I went the wrong way. I swear, my capture software hates this game. I've had to restart this recording about four to five times because the, uh... Sometimes it records perfectly fine, other times it wants to not record at all. Very annoying. One of these days I'll get a, uh, a capture card or something that will make my life so much easier. I mean, I already have one for the PlayStation. I wonder if that'll actually work. I have never tried it. Oh, there's Tom Bow there. Okay, so... Where is the control center? Up here, isn't it? MTP control. Diagnose. What do you say is wrong? Oh, that's a step in the right direction. Oh, well, never mind. Yes, we have to go to the reactor. Oh, we have to use the monorail. Can we turn it on? Yes, we can. So cool! Oh, there's a few holograms dotted around now. Let's go see what they are. I mean, that explains a few things. They all just upped and buggered off. Very selfish thing to do though, isn't it? Hey, what's this button? The microwave power transmission is a technological model that provides both Earth and the lunar colony with power. Energy from the Tombow reactor is relayed across the frontier through Copernicus Moon and Pearson Station. As the transmission is received by the faster bank, of 42 MPT ground stations along Earth's equator. It is distributed with equality and fairness to bring life to our families back home. We provide the new flame for everyone. Well, doesn't that sound lovely? All right, let's see if we can get to Tombow then. The monorail station is back this way. go this way. There's another 
Hologram over here? Let's see what this is. What was that speech all about? MacArthur can't decide this on his own now, can he? Look, we don't call the shots here, okay? Now help me out with this stuff. Put that down, Frank. Don't you know what helium is for? Don't you think it's strange it's here instead of next to the reactor it's supposed to power? Of course I do, it's just... Just what? Should we accept everything they say? Do you even realize what the consequences are if we leave while the MPT is offline? What choice do we have? What do we really have to go back to? Floods, dust storms, blazing heat? I'm done. The council's giving us a second chance and I'm not wasting it. Now I'm done talking. Just give me a hand. Give you really sacrificed the rest of humanity? That seems a little bit selfish. Oh, well, here's the monorail. I guess we're driving ourselves. Oh, we are actually driving ourselves. In... First person. Okay, that's a bit weird. Decontamination? We going out onto the moon? Yay! This is Sarah Baker, lead engineer at Pearson Space Station. I was sent to investigate the blackout together with station mechanic Rolf Robertson. I was attacked by an AZ unit and lost consciousness. The reasons for this attack remain unclear. It seems my expedition partner has left. And I am unable to contact Pearson Space Station or any of the other facilities. I'm going to cross the frontier now, passing Copernicus Outpost 1 to get to Tombo and try to figure out what caused the MPT failure. Whoever finds this, please try to contact me. Alex, end recording. Do we have a radio? I don't think we have a radio. Ah, so we have to go through this outpost. Apparently we're gonna stop here. Investigate why the monorail has stopped. Yeah, I figured that might be the case. Where's the door? Hmm. Ah, here it is. Ah. Oh, why have we stopped here? There's a helmet and a ton of helium in that room. This is quite a mess. Space Tech Magazine. Helium on the moon. Essential to humanity's survival on Earth. This summer edition, we sit down with pioneer architect and Lunar Council member Dr. Isaac Johnson to highlight the many obstacles and triumphs of developing the MPT. There's another hologram. Copernicus 1 colonists, this is an evacuation. The reactor at Tombo has suffered a critical malfunction. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Whoa, calm down. Who sent you? We're here on official orders of the Lunar Council. The Lunar Council? Frank, do you see anything strange happening across the MPT network? Mm, well, I've got nothing out of the ordinary. Tombo seems fine to me. Perhaps you could explain a bit more first. This is for your own safety. The situation will be explained by the council when all colonists arrive at Moon Hub. So, MacArthur calls the shots now, huh? We don't have time for this. Just take them. What? Get your hands off me! Evacuation crew to MacArthur. We're progressing to stage two. Outpost crew and the package are on their way to Moon Hub. We didn't receive any word from the others at Reinhold, though. Good work, Evac. Wait for them to pass Outpost 1. Contact me again when the second evacuation crew arrives. Over and out. Forcefully evacuating people. Okay, well, there's a keypad to the sleep quarters. Who wrote it down on a sticky note? Now, I know games do this as like a, um, a joke. 
sort of thing. Like, oh, look, all the personal information is, is just hanging around. Like, I actually work in an office, and I swear to God, people do this. People actually do this. Like, they'll have sensitive information, and they'll just write it down on a piece of paper and leave it somewhere. And you're like, oh, okay, never mind. Let's just ignore the fact of uh, potential security breaches. This is Pearson Station Engineer Sarah Baker again. I traveled to this outpost from Moonhub, where I was sent to investigate the blackout together with my expedition partner. Moonhub was completely deserted when we arrived, and we were unable to bring the MPT back online. We got separated and lost contact. I'm traveling towards Tombow alone to continue my investigation. The only lead I have is that something has happened at the reactor facility. The entrance to the monorail station here is blocked, so I'll have to find another way to cross the landscape. It's worth a shot. Maybe there's a car. Somehow I don't think so, though. I was going to try and jump down, but I probably just broke my legs. Right. Well, it doesn't look promising for other modes of transportation, does it? This, I think this is the, the room where they would be, somehow. But there is this. Can we move this? Yes. So where do we need to move it to? I need to be a little bit higher in order to be able to shoot those. Let's try it. I am not very good with this thing. We press Y to take over the ASC and let's go. A damnable thing. Right, this way. This way. One of those weird moments where I've no idea what I'm actually trying to achieve, but I'm mysteriously doing it anyway. Are we going? What's the range on one of these things? This is bringing back observation memories. Oh. I wonder if the code for the door is 1881. 1881. I mean... <sighs> It's a four-digit number. How hard is it to remember a four-digit number? I guess if you have to remember loads of them, it could be a little bit annoying. I mean, I forget what four-digit numbers are all the time, but I, like, I don't need to remember them for my life. 1881? Or... Yeah, thank God. <laughs> It'd be funny if I just got the wrong number then. Hello, ASC. Right. What is in here? Oh, inf information. Everything all right at Reinhold? You asked me to let you know when MacArthur and Johnson would travel down to Tomba again. They just passed this station and should be at Tomba soon. Hope this helps whatever you're, it is you're trying to do, Frank. Frank, that's good. Very good. There's a pattern and I'm close to bringing it to light. I just need some final answers. Thanks, Edgar. Okay, Edgar. Good luck, Frank. Frank, it's happening. I knew it. Three monorail trains left Tomba. One's heading for Hugens. The other two are going for Moonhub. The first Moonhub train should arrive at your station soon enough, but the second won't until I get some answers. This is key, Frank. The key to understanding what the Council has been planning for so long. I'm close. Edgar. Hello, there's an ASC port down there. It's a, it's a copy of Moon Man! Exhausted but determined, the astronaut follows an old friend's trail. As... His search across the moon continues in a remote outpost. He discovers evidence of dubious plans with far-reaching consequences. Okay, how do we get in here? Wait, 
What have I achieved here? Oh, I've literally just opened that up that lets me get back here to get back to the man. That doesn't help. Hmm. What have I achieved by getting in here? That ain't nothing, that's what. That ain't nothing. But then surely there's nowhere else to go. Oh, here we go again. This is where I'll wander around a bit, not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Uh, what's my objective? Gain access to the monorail terminal. Where is the monorail terminal? Not that terminal, that's for sure. Yeah, there's nothing in here other than bunks, beds, and a copy of Moon Man. Which in itself is a reward enough, right? Uh, there was nothing in that bay, was there? It was literally just an empty bay. Unless I missed something, let's just go have a double check, shall we? Well, I think I can safely say there's nothing here, so let's go back to the start of the area. What if there was a keypad I missed? Usually how it goes. Usually I walk straight past the thing that I need to do. Alright, where is it? The quarters. That's where we went in. Okay, is there anything up here? Ah, here we go. Big ass computer. I wonder if 1881 works. Oh, hello. Wicked. There we go. That, that doesn't help. Perform manual maintenance check. <sighs> no, that's not the maintenance hatch. Maintenance is this way, okay. Powerful and abundantly present on the moon, Helium-3 was considered to be the key to solving humanity's energy crisis, as it is both harvested and processed at the Tombar facility grounds, moving this resource away from Tombar's reactor is rarely allowed by the Lunar Council. Oh, it doesn't explain why it's sitting here, I suppose. Ooh, this looks like a goddamn puzzle, doesn't it? Evacuation crew to MacArthur. Helium package and Copernicus outpost one personnel have arrived in Moonhub, sir. Evac crew two is still nowhere in sight, though. We've been trying to reach them, but we're getting no response at all. How should we proceed? Seal the door and make your way to Moonhub. Fuel needs to be in place before we arrive with the Tomba evacuees. Sir, the other crew won't make it in time if I do that. They'll miss the launch. They know what they signed up for. Seal the door. Now. Yes, sir. Oh, that in fact lead is a real bastard. Okay, well I'm guessing I need to send the ASC outside of there, right? Let's go. It's some sort of light puzzle, maybe? Usually how it goes. color do they need to be? I'm assuming blue. I mean, technically the cables show me where they're going. What's this one do? Okay. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. I'm going to apologize for this one in advance. Uh... Now, there is an argument to just blindly pressing them until it eventually works. But at this point, I've made them all yellow, so that that's good, right?
There we go. I think I did it. I'll do you a favour and I'm going to fast forward that one for you. Because uh, <laughs> that took me a little bit longer than I anticipated. Well, I guess that means the airlock's open now, I think. Yes. Not too sure what I'm doing out here, but I think it has something to do with whatever this doohickey is. What is this? No, maybe not. Uh, I'll do with these things. Is it that doohickey? Oh. Uh, monorail traffic between Copernicus Moonhub and Tombow runs directly through this outpost. MacArthur's questionable orders to sabotage these cables heavily disrupt traffic from one base to the other, making Tombow and the MPT reactor much harder to reach from Moonhub. Guessing that means we can't fix those cables. Which is slightly problematic, I imagine. What's over here? It's a case with oxygen. No. <laughs> Can we just jump the line? No. No, we can't. What the hell am I missing here? I have to do something with these, but I don't think so. Hmm. Am I missing something inside of the station, maybe? Unless, of course, powering these up is actually just, like, you know, fix the train. Which is decidedly possible. Maybe we don't need to go outside. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. That tends to be a problem. Train work? Does the train work? Well, it says monorail online. This is a good start, right? Yeah, there we go. This is Tombo track access denied. Communication with closest base operator offline. Consult operator on arrival in Rhino Crater Base. Uh oh. One Tombo track not switch tracks to a third fatal collision. I crashed. That was very good. Can I try that again? There we go. Okay. I pressed right trigger because I forgot my lefts and rights for a second. Oh, you could have done that automatically. Oh God, no. Oh my God, this doesn't seem safe. Brakes to slow down. Uh, I think we can safely say these tracks have seen better days. This is going to hurt, isn't it? Oh, well, that, was, that was useful, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No oxygen. Uh-oh. Uh, airlock. 
I was going to say, this seems like a perfect place to end the episode, but... Uh... I should probably try and find out how to turn the oxygen on. Excuse me. There we go. Uh. Well, that's some oxygen. I mean, at least they're giving me oxygen, I suppose. Kind of. I think it actually might be empty. Maybe don't stand on this panel? Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. That's a dead battery. I get a feeling I'm gonna need that. Oxygen? Nope. No oxygen. Hey, what's in that? I need this. I need the oxygen. That did not do as well as I was hoping. Hmm. I didn't open the door. How the hell do I get out of here? Like that. You know what, I'm going to take this with me. I don't know why, I got a feeling. Right, oh, okay, so what I need to do is turn this on. Let me just grab this oxygen here. Uh, I need to turn it back off again and then walk past these live wires, I guess. I'm definitely taking this with me. Aha! Oh no, I need to press the button. Oh no. Quickly, I'm running out of oxygen. Oh, thank God. Okay. So, uh, we appear to be in Reinhold Station. But here seems like a perfect place for me to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Oh, they look like they're having fun, don't they? But, as always, I'll see you next time.